More and more, we're seeking to work with policymakers, so practitioners and policymakers together develop the best possible strategies and priorities to encourage and deliver the best possible resilience across communities. That does not happen without research. Identifying and developing projects that end users are, are involved with from initiation to delivery, that involve researchers and practitioners working cooperatively to develop options and solutions. Not all are adopted. Not all are successful. But without the research, practitioners largely learn through hard experience. And regrettably, that sometimes means loss of life. As emergency services, we are a traditional lot. We have a conservative view, and I'm confident that many here would welcome the fact that we are risk averse. We are conservative in nature. <coughs> research provides evidence that otherwise may not be available, that otherwise may or may not be gathered from difficult debriefs and post-disaster post -disaster analysis. And evidence leads to change, even for those of a conservative nature. And over time, that change influences our culture. The Fire and Emergency Services commends the establishment of Bushfire Natural Hazard CRC and looks forward to working in partnership to develop options and solutions for safer and more resilient communities as a whole. Thank you very much.